October International Augmentative and Alternative Communication Awareness Month. Wow, that is quite a mouth, mouthful. But uh, basically what we're doing is raising awareness of those who require assistance with their communication. And uh, joining me this morning, a client of Kaya, Kaya being Communication Assistance for Youth and Adults, is Melissa Yaritz. Good morning, Melissa. Hi, it's so nice being here. Melissa, you're you're probably the first person I've uh, I've ever interviewed this way. Ha- have you done a lot of interviews? Yes, I have done interviews for newspapers, magazines, and a live television interview. But this is my first radio interview. All right, I'm the first. All right. Uh, now I understand you do some some public speaking. Yes, I do public speaking mostly at schools, colleges, universities and conferences. Now what do you speak mostly about? What are, what are you uh, telling these students? What I am very passionate about is motivational speaking, about using augmentative communication, and how it wouldn't be possible for me to live my life to the fullest and as independently. Now what is your disability? I have cerebral palsy which is a form of brain damage. In my case, it is severe and affects all of my motor skills as well my speech. In no way has it impacted or hindered my intelligence. I understand you're a very good student. I graduated from high school two years ago with a four-point GPA. (laughs) Oh, is that all? Okay, uh, now how long have you had this machine that uh, allows you to communicate? (laughs) I had this communication device, the Eco, for a year and a half, but I had the little sister to this, the Pathfinder, for five years, and I had the Delta Talker in elementary school. Did you have Without that? Without the augmentative communication, I would not been able to prove my intellectual abilities. Now, did you, uh, when you say elementary school, did you, uh, have you had it even since you were a young girl, even before school? What did you do before you had a communication device? I started communicating with gestures and spelling everything letter by letter on a printed out alphabet board. This was very exhausting for everyone. In your communication assistance bio, you you explain that communication is is much more than just fulfilling basic needs, and as you said, you just uh, you you can express your your intelligence. This tool does so much more than just uh, telling people what your basic needs are. Yes, yes. Thanks to a mentor, Lorraine Camp, who introduced me to augmentative communication, I wouldn't have done what I did, like graduating from school. These devices allow individuals to express their thoughts, feelings, wants, and desires, therefore living a more self-fulfilling life. Now, you live a pretty large life. You've done some pretty cool things that uh, many of us, including myself, certainly have not done. Uh, what kind of experiences have you done in your young life? By the way, you, you, you said two years ago, so you, you must be 20 now. Um, what kind of things have you been doing? I have had many experiences in my life, like driving in a race car and rock climbing. An extraordinary young woman, Melissa Yaritz, and uh, we'll talk more with Melissa tomorrow as October is International Augmentative and Alternative Communication Awareness Month. Okay, and uh, Kaya, Communication Assistance for Youth and Adults, very worthwhile, and uh, what a neat tool that allows her to uh, express herself like anybody else.